This is Umit Özaydın from Dragoman Translation, and this is a quick in intro on Zoom video conferencing. First of all, a um, little disclaimer, I'm not, an, I'm not affiliated with Zoom uh, company. I am a conference interpreter and owner of Dragoman Translation. How can we help you? Uh, we can uh, help you with subtitling, transcreation, conference and remote interpreting, and automated uh, translation solutions, uh, not necessarily machine translation, but uh, connecting your current CMS content and uh, other platforms to our network so that we can deliver faster and better localization services. Um, a quick summary of our company. Uh, no, I mean, this was, of course, before the corona lockdown. We used to have on average 100 events monthly with simultaneous and consecutive interpreting. For translation, we averagely have 100 different jobs on a weekly basis. Uh, we are uh, trans creators. We take pride in being trans, create, trans, trans creating. And it's mostly 80 and more than 80 languages that we cover with about 1,000 uh, language professionals. Uh, but uh, the latest uh, poll suggests that 60% uh, of our customers are extremely happy with our services. 25% are very happy and only 14% 40 per are happy. Over 500 corporations trust Dragoman. Uh, talking about remote conferencing, um, <clears throat> There are four pillars. Whatever tool you are using, be it Zoom or uh, Skype or um, WebEx, uh, GoToWebinar, uh, Microsoft Team, um, or uh, platforms designed for uh, conference interpreting like uh, Kudo or um, ZipDX or Interpretify or Voicebox, whatever platform you are using, there are four pillars. Number one is you need broadband internet connection. Most vendors recommend about 10 megabit per second. Uh, if, if this reduces, like, I mean, you can do as low as two, but you, you will have glitches, like the, the, the video will freeze, the video quality will not be ideal, there might be uh, cuts and ups and downs in the voice quality. So that's one, number one. Number two is you need a good computer. I mean, I. My, my, my uh, tests uh, suggest that uh, computers with Intel i7 or Mac Pro, uh, they 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 are good. Uh, I mean, any, anything less than I mean, I mean, you you can technically do this on your mobile phone, but uh, I mean, they are it's not designed for long video conferencing. So you need a good computer, and the, the better your computer is, the better the conference quality will be. And then you need functional camera, headset, and microphone. As you see now, I am using this pilot style uh, uh, headset. This this is noise canceling, has a mute function, uh, and the microphone is designed for high quality voice. Not every microphone is designed for high quality voice. A lot of headsets are designed for high quality audio. I mean, because you listen to beautiful music when you are jogging, walking your dog, or just having fun at home. But, I mean, but, but, but if, if you want to do video conferencing, you must have a conference call type of headset. I mean, for uh, CEOs, executives, I recommend Bluetooth type uh, headsets because I mean, they're not, they aren't headsets, they are, I mean, just, uh, uh, Buds, but at the end of the day, I mean, you need you need to look cool. But for interpreters, we need to hear what you're saying in an isolated manner because we have to focus perfectly so that we can do uh, the interpreting simultaneously. So for all interpreter colleagues, I recommend to invest in uh, in 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 the about, and you need a backup plan. I mean. Uh, for example, I mean, in our offices and in, in not all at the moment, but will be in some of our uh, remote interpreter colleagues' homes, we have redundant internet. I mean, if one of them fails, we have a backup plan. We have a second uh, microphone and headset. We have a second camera and even a second computer. Not in every home, unfortunately. We are not that rich, but in the office, of course. And that is a must. You need to be in a backup plan because you don't want your conference just to you know uh, freeze all of a sudden you need a backup plan so i mean video first approach is critical uh, in times of crisis because 93 percent of communication is nonverbal. we all know this i mean when when your colleagues see you face to face 
uh, you can empower them, encourage your remote teams, and overcome, help them overcome sense of isolation because a lot of people are locked down and locked down with their kids and family members, or maybe they are alone uh, all by themselves. And video uh, is much more efficient, agile, and also inclusive. So we recommend that you know all corporations uh, use uh, a video conferencing tool. Uh, Zoom is one of them. We love Zoom. And also we love Zoom because Zoom allows uh, adding a professional interpreter to your meetings. I mean, you can do many, many more things with Zoom. And also you can hire a qualified interpreter. You don't have to hire me or my company. We are not affiliated with Zoom. I'm sure you have trusted interpreters in your uh, country, in your town. Maybe your company already has a lot of contracted interpreters and you are not organizing any events and they are at home. And remember, 95% uh, of language professionals in the world, according to uh, CSA and NIMSI uh, resources, they are freelancers. They are self-employed. So if in these times uh, you... You know, you connect your uh, colleagues in different parts of the world. You know, hiring an interpreter will really help people, uh, you know, uh, survive. And, and maybe, you know, if we do this together in, in a nice way, we will not only survive, but we will also thrive. Um, this is uh, just a quick contact information. This is our website, my personal LinkedIn profile and email. You can always email and ask me questions. Now I am moving on to uh, the uh, website of Zoom. But before Zoom, this video is recorded with Loom. Loom is fantastic. I just discovered it. Uh, you can instantly you know, uh, record uh, any desktop. And your video is down there. This is my video. Uh, and it's nice. I mean, moving on to Zoom. Uh, this is Zoom's website. There are several plans and pricing. It is uh, free. Uh, for all, forever, if, uh, and but uh, for one-to-one -one meetings or to host, you know, 100 up to 100 participants. But then the meetings will be short, 40 minutes. If you need an interpreter, you have to buy minimum this pro package. It is for 14.99. But then you also have to invest in an additional video webinar plan. Without this plan. Language interpretation will not be possible. You won't see that option on your Zoom screen. So if you if you are already a Zoom user, I'm sure you you you, you are a Zoomer. Uh, I mean, most of us are Zoomers now. It's it's fantastic. Uh, but I mean, you haven't seen uh, any interpretation button because you you didn't you haven't probably purchased you know forty dollars per month is not a lot for a company it's nothing but for individuals i mean why invest in forty dollars so um but i mean if you are if you're all if you if you own a language business or if you have if you are a sme if uh, or you know larger business just buy this plan i mean even larger companies can have business in business you don't need to to buy additional webinar business already has it so let's go to uh zoom Zoom, my, my Zoom account, I'm, yeah, I'm already done, sorry. There are several ways to host a meeting. If you directly host a meeting with, with this, this is instant video, it won't allow you to add an interpreter. You have to go to this, you know, uh, uh, schedule meeting, or you have to go and say schedule a webinar, all right? I mean, this, this is important. And yeah, let's go to my account. Go to your account and go to, go to settings. And in your settings, this is what you need to do. Once you once you have purchased the plan, go to uh, advanced. I'm sorry, it's this one, this in meeting advanced. We are learning. It's a learning curve. See, uh, you have to enable language interpretation. If you don't do this. Uh, you can't add interpreters to your meeting. Okay, enable language interpretation and then go and schedule a meeting. You know, name your meeting, uh, you know, set the date, the hour, the duration. It can be a recurring meeting. Maybe you want to have a weekly, you know, gathering with your team and you will need, you know, interpretation uh, into Turkish or Arabic or Chinese or Spanish. 
For the U.S., I highly recommend, you know, hiring into Spanish interpreters because there is a huge Hispanic community. And also, you know, uh, right now uh, in the Middle East, in China, in Korea, there, there, you know, this this, uh, this pandemic is everywhere. So if you, if you have mission critical information, hire interpreters uh, and just run the, the meeting uh, with them and they will do the job. And the interpreters do not have to travel. Nobody needs to commute. We can all join from our homes, all right? So what you need to do is enable language interpretation and enter the email of your interpreter or, or of your um, language services providers, uh, project manager's email so that they can forward this email to the interpreter and then specify the languages. Uh, at the moment, Zoom has a very limited set of languages, but ignore this. I mean, you can be, I mean, I, I, I don't speak you know, any other language than English and Turkish. I mean, I can make jokes in all of these languages on the screen, but making jokes does not qualify you as a conference interpreter. So for the sake of demonstration, I'm just choosing uh, German, English to German, uh, and I'm saving this. It's done. I'm ready. Yeah, I can add this to my Outlook. I can uh, just copy the invitation and send to people via WhatsApp or Slack. I can share this on uh, Facebook or Instagram or any other social media if I want. You know, if I want to make this public, uh, or I can add this to Google Calendar. I mean, there, there are way. I mean, there are so many ways of you know inviting people, uh, and then and then you can immediately start the meeting. Or, I mean, you can wait until the meeting starts, but for, for the sake of demo, I'm starting immediately just to show you how it works. You know, I, I, I am recording my uh, screen and as I'm recording, uh, Zoom is trying to also access to my video, of course, but it, it cannot. Anyway, first thing you need to do is test your speaker and microphone. Whatever platform you are using, test the speaker and microphone first because you want to be heard and you also want to hear others. Okay, here is, if you hear the tone, say yes. And if you, and speak a little, da -da -da -da, and Zoom will reply. I mean, I'm sorry, not reply. I mean, just playback. And if you hear the playback, then that means you are safe. Yeah. By 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 the way, I mean, uh, at the moment, I have my computer's uh, microphone, and also I have this Logitech USB. So I mean, make sure that you select the right microphone. Otherwise, you will say, "Oh no, I mean, nobody is hearing me." That means you 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 plugged in the microphone, but you haven't selected it. You have to select all right the right microphone. Okay, everything is good. I'm joining with uh, computer audio, and I am in the conference. Yeah. So this is Zoom screen without video. I can't have the video because the video is already here at uh, at Loom. Uh, but I mean, imagine there's a video, right? But the, but the demo is not for video conferencing uh, only, it's for interpretation. So here you see the interpretation button. I am currently the host of this event. So whoever hosts the event, and ideally I suggest you work with a qualified uh, event organizer company or a media company or a translation company like Dragoman so that we can set up everything. I mean. There, there, there are other settings for webinar, for people joining, keeping them in the waiting room, you know, silencing their microphones. And I mean, don't expect your interpreter to handle all those. I mean, don't think, okay, I'm going to hire an interpreter and the interpreter will be a magician. Not only he, will, he or she will interpret live, but also do the settings. No. I mean, we can help, of course. But this is also a very new situation for interpreters. So better to hire qualified people who will Take care of the technicalities. It's important. This is all new for most of us. So when I say start, all right, and it says, okay, English and German interpretation, as soon as I click start, everybody will see this not notification. And then what you need to do is speakers, interpreters, and the audience. 
everybody must select a channel just like any conference you know you know we used in the good old days we used to go to those nice hotels maybe one day again you know we are most you are most welcome to the wonderful hotels of turkey uh, once once this is over and i'm sure it will be over and when and when, when you know so i mean anyway i mean excuse my you know humor um you know, in the good old days, we, we used to have these, you know, conference in the hotels and the, the, techni the, the technicians were giving you a headset and you were asked to choose a channel. Just like that, you have to choose a channel. I mean, English or German, which language you want to hear or which language you want to speak. So let's say English. I am, I am in, and if you're a speaker, you have to select that too. Otherwise, you will hear both languages, English and German. And imagine there is one more Chinese, you will hear three languages with interpretation of you hear all languages. So select a channel so that you only hear the language you want to listen. And then mute the original. This is a mistranslation. It, it means mute other channels actually. It mutes the others. You have to do this, right? Simple. Select your channel and mute the, mute, mute the other channels. If you do this, you will be uh, you you will have your conference. As an interpreter, we're gonna hear both channels because we are supposed to listen English and then translate into German or whatever language. But the audience, you can you you also need one language. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask through chat. For example, oh, I cannot hear. Blah blah blah. Somebody asks this, and then the technical guy says, oh yeah, I mean check your mic. Or somebody says. I cannot. Uh, I, mean, I mean, I cannot. Uh, I cannot find interpretation uh, button. And then the uh, and then the usually the, the reason is you don't have the latest version of, of Zoom. So you sh you go to zoom.us/download and then download the latest version and then you will have it. Or uh, you know some browsers. I mean, Chrome is usually more compatible. You know, Edge or Explorer. Uh, Safari sometimes you know doesn't. Uh, operate well enough. So yeah, I mean, you, you need this technical person to take care of all, all this. And then, you know, in Zoom, you can have a Q&A, you can uh, run polls, which is great, you know, or, you know, in webinar mode, people can raise their hands, you know, uh, ask a microphone, or just type their question, q and It I mean, it has awesome functionalities for any uh, company. Zoom is one of the go-to uh, I mean, one of one of the top choices to run a webinar or an event, and it's very easy, super easy to add an interpreter. Assume that uh, you are in the conference, you don't, you have, you you've just forgot to hire the interpreter, or your interpreter didn't show up. Just drop us an email or any other language company, and then you know uh, we we pop in, we give you an email, then you can say manage language interpretation, and just add an interpreter, and I mean. Since you have already invited us, our name will be here. Okay, for example, Dragoman. Yeah, okay, Dragoman is here. We arrived. So when you click on this, we will join the meeting. I mean, I mean, it can. I mean, it doesn't have to be Dragoman. Again, I mean, you are free to work with any language professional you want to. We are one of them. We are Zoom. We are we are a Zoom ready company. Uh, for interpreter colleagues who are watching watching this video, unfortunately, Zoom doesn't have a relay function yet we are we have requested from their support and zoom doesn't have a virtual a virtual um, booth yet i mean normally we sit in booths you know in in some other uh, uh, tools zoom doesn't have it yet i mean you don't have this you, you don't know who's your boot mate you you i mean just i'm um, just by on this i mean on the screen you don't see it but i mean you can chat i mean it is not i mean it's i mean it is possible to add you know, a second interpreter uh, to this English German or a third one or a fourth one. But I mean, Zoom will not shove them in boot one, boot two, boot three. Don't expect that. OK. And then uh, Zoom doesn't have incoming audio control. So either you have a microphone like this headset and you control from your headset or you control your incoming audio from your uh, computers. Uh, headset audio i mean this is i mean in some tools you know interpreters and the audience have audio controls not not in zoom not in zoom 
and also you don't have the control of your uh, you know of your voice you, you don't have it you don't have other you know uh, audio related controls maybe they will add it or what what you can do is you can have an external uh, you know sound card another tool you know either a plugin tool or an app to control the audio i mean this is uh, what, what i know at the moment yeah i think that's 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 all for now so i'm so i'm ending this uh zoom meeting uh oh before i forget make sure to mute mute your mute your microphone uh, ladies and gentlemen if you're not speak, speaking you know recently a colleague of mine said he joined a conference with 160 doctors and all of them were speaking at the same time you know i mean it's not possible to do that. I mean, if you're not speaking, please mute your mute your microphone. And these days we are at home. Our pets, our kids, our parents are at home. I mean, that, that it is it is only normal and natural to have background uh, noise. So make sure to mute uh, your microphone. And also, ideally, you know, have a door to close so that you have some privacy. Because working remotely doesn't mean that you are not working. This is work. There might be confidential issues. There might be private issues discussed on on the conference. So make sure you have you know a private setting, uh, and you know you can mute, mute your microphone. You can close the door, and yeah, that's for now what what I must say. And with that, I am ending this webinar. All right, all the best. <laughs>